Welcome to the Cisco Telepresence VCS System Configuration Video Guide. My name is Michael McGarry, a Product Manager within the Cisco Telepresence Systems Business Unit. This is the continuation of six videos which will guide you through the basic configuration of a VCS. This is Part 3, Applications. So, we're going to start with the System Overview page as we have in the previous sections, and we're going to go to an Applications now. Underneath Applications, we have several applications, the Conference Factory, Presence, OCS Relay, and Find Me. We're going to start with Conference Factory. Conference Factory is used for multi-way. Multi-way is the ability for multiple devices to join a call together using a remote MCU. And in this case, we use something called an alias and a template. The alias is what is configured on the actual endpoint, and then a template is created so that we can so that we can actually tell it what MCU to use uh, using a technology service prefix and then we're also going to use the number range start and end. So in this case we might want to actually configure an alias of maybe called uh, the uh, conference factory or we might want to have a little bit more complicated than that so a multi-way really easy here at cisco.com. This needs to fall within the confines of our dial plans and our domain dialing. So we're going to put uh, multiway at cisco.com. And then we're going to put a, a number of some type. So maybe we might have a technology service prefix um, of 60, and maybe we have a, we might want to start with a 6, and then maybe do a 555, five, five, and then 10. And then percent percent. Uh, the percent percent actually dictates what the number is going to be from the number range that we're going to assign. And in this case, uh, since I do want something that looks like a 10 digits at Cisco.com, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a number range that starts with 1 and ends at 99. Uh, we might want to also start with um, maybe 10 uh, so that it's always 10 digits. And then we're going to save. Uh, oh, of course, we do have to turn it on. Uh, one of the things that we will actually see is that the first conference that's created is 606-555-1010. So that's the 606-555-10, and then it adds, of course, the 10. And then the next conference that gets created will be 11 and so on. And then it will wrap back around to 10. Uh, in the status registrations, we will actually see this alias registered, but we're not going to do that at the moment. So the next part is we're going to go to presence. Presence is something that we want to turn on, and this is for uh, the SIP simple presence server, and we're going to leave the defaults of 300 and 120, um, and we're just going to turn this on. Also, we have something very unique called the Presence User Agent. And what this will do is, since we do support H.323 on the same VCS, we might want to create presence for endpoints that are registered via H.323. Since we are aware of that particular registration, admission, and status of the device via the 323 uh, protocol, uh, we're going to cre we can create presence then uh, based upon that information. However, that presence user agent must actually have a registered endpoint that has the domain name and the domain name that's configured in the VCS configuration SIP domains. This will only create presence and only become the SIP authority, uh, the presence authority, for the SIP domains that are configured on this box only. It will not become the presence server for any other domain. Let's go on to OCS Relay. OCS Relay is really an advanced configuration parameter. Uh, so in terms of the basic configuration, we're just going to make sure that this is turned off at the moment. Underneath Find Me, under Configuration on Find Me, this is where we're going to turn Find Me on. If we did not have Find Me uh, option installed on this VCS, then we would not be able to turn this on, obviously. Now, we've listed here the caller ID as being the find me. Um, that's not the default. Um, that's something that I've actually changed. 
So this is where we can do something called source alias rewriting, and we can rewrite any of the endpoints that are configured underneath find me for the find me ID. So this is what actually gets handed back out to the endpoint that is being dialed towards, and this is what it thinks that it's actually being dialed. This is so that if you see a missed call, you can redial, and when you redial, you dial back through using the Find Me, thus d dialing out to multiple different devices. Now, there's an additional configuration parameter here where we can restrict users from adding devices to their Find Me. This might be a security concern if you have lots of endpoints and you have lots of people on the network, and somebody may want to start configuring um, additional devices. As they're configured, they will actually then go directly to uh, and be source alias rewritten. So you, a conference room may actually be source alias rewritten then to a user's find me. And you may not want to have that happen. Or you might want to, so that depends upon you. Uh, the device creation message is a configuration parameter that actually shows up in um, where a user will actually go in and use find me. Okay, and that is it for uh, part three applications. Thank you, and we will look forward to part four maintenance, and then we're going to go through part five status.